This is my daughter's boyfriend. And today, we're gonna to be testing out bulletproof vests. I have tested a lot of bulletproof glass on my channel before, but never a bulletproof vest. This is a Bullet Safe VP3 uh, soft body armor vest they sent me to try out. It's a pretty cool vest. If you look them up, they're actually a lot less expensive than a lot of other soft body armor vests on the market. So they sent it to me to try out and I'm gonna try it out. Let me just tell you a few features about it. You have a pocket up here so you can actually add more body armor to the front and also the back. It's got an eight position uh, Velcro so you can have it as loose as you want, as tight as you want. And you know, it's level 3A. They said it can stop up to a 44 Magnum and that's what I wanna try out. I've got a nine millimeter 44 Magnum, got the new 350 Legend and I've also got a 460. If it stops the 460, I will be very surprised. After I shoot everything, I'm going to see how many 22s this guy can actually stop. I've always wanted to test this. Say for instance, you know, you got a 22 long rifle sniper out there in the field and he can only see a part of your body armor. Well, if he keeps hitting the same spot, how many will it take to actually go through? I'm curious about that. So enough talking, let's get back and do some shooting. First things first, I've, <laughs> First things first, I've got the new uh, SIG 365X and it is chambered in nine millimeter. I've got some 147 grain Federal HSTs. And if this bulletproof vest cannot stop a 147 grain HST at 20 feet, we might as well just end the video. So, but let me see if I can put one about center mass here. All right, let's take a look. It did stop the nine millimeter bullet. There is no exit on the back. So I would take it off, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt. But there is no exit on the back. So it did stop 147 grain Federal HST. Now let's bump it up to the 44 Magnum. Probably my favorite revolver, well, big bore revolver of all time. This is my Smith & Wesson um, 629 stainless in the Performance Center. And I'm gonna be shooting some Federal Vital Shocks. These are some bad dudes. So they claim that this vest will stop a 44 Magnum. Let's find out. Ooh, I don't know. Let's go take a look. All right, right here was the 44 Magnum, and oh man, it stopped it, but this bulletproof vest is not happy. I'm gonna show you guys. You do not wanna get shot in the chest with a 44 Magnum, with or without a vest. So as you can tell right here, it didn't go through, but look at how much it bulged that bulletproof vest out. So that's a lot of energy. If you were wearing this vest and you got hit with the 44 Magnum, uh, the chances of you breaking a couple of ribs are pretty great. So, all right, now let's go with something even bigger, well, faster. Let's go with the new 350 Legend. I don't think this is gonna stop the 350 Legend. All right, 350 Legend out of Smith & Wesson's new revolver. I'm thinking this will go through. Uh, this bullet is moving pretty quick. So here we go. Ooh, it's spunning around. Let's take a look. So right here's where I shot with the 350 Legend. It was very close to the nine millimeter. Ooh, look at there. I don't know if that went through. I don't see anywhere here where it hit the steel. So what I'm gonna do, since it was so close to that nine millimeter shot, I'm gonna shoot it about right here. I'm gonna get it away from that other, other bullet hole. So let's shoot it again with that 350 Legend. All right, got another 350 Legend here. I'm gonna aim a little bit lower. All right, let's take a look. Oh yeah, it definitely went through. But you gotta remember, a 350 Legend is pretty much a deer caliber. So it was actually developed for a rifle, but yeah, it went through that bulletproof vest. Whoa! Whoa, false alarm. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it did not. There it is. Oh, it's hot. I thought it went through. I shot a little low right here and it hit the steel. Um, I'm thinking it probably did go through the vest and hit the steel and the jacket came off, went back in there. So I didn't hit right in here where I wanted to. So I don't even like this test. I'm gonna put it back in and try to hit right here in the open because when that bullet's pinching against steel, of course it's going to help aid it penetrating this body armor. So let's do it again. All right, third time's a charm. I've got this revolver sighted in at 50 yards, so 
maybe shooting a little low. All right, that time I think I got where I needed to get it. I definitely have not figured out that uh, sight to bore ratio yet, but, uh, but yeah, I hit pretty much in the same hole and it just blew right through it. Um, I'm just gonna have to aim a little bit higher. That's all there is said done. I wish I could like actually pull off this shot, you know? <laughs> you think shooting guns for a living, I could be a little bit more accurate than that, but now I'm gonna have to aim about like right here. So I've been aiming right here and hitting here. So I'm gonna aim right there. Let's do it right. Good googly moogly. All right, we will figure this out. All right, aim higher. All right, there we go. All right, after all that, I hit right here. So yeah, these are my first two shots, but we'll figure it out. But look, it will stop a 350 Legend. It did stop that bullet. So this is where it pinched up against here, the first shot. And of course, the bottom two pinched up against the steel. But right here was the other one. And yeah, it did not go through. It captured that bullet. Now, let's see if it'll stop a 460. And that's where my daughter's boyfriend comes in to shoot the revolver, not to wear the vest or anything like that. 460 Smith & Wesson. 260 grain bullet traveling at 1600 feet per second. I've got a hangnail, so Noah's going to shoot this one. Oh, well, you hit it. Let's go take a look and see what it did. All right, did it stop the 460? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> so these things aren't rated for 460. I just wanted to see if it would stop it. Now, here's the interesting thing. Now I'm gonna back up at a, probably about mm, 30 yards or so, and I'm going to aim for the same spot. I've got a, I'm gonna shoot on the backside. It's the same uh, panel on the backside. I'm gonna see how many it will actually take. If I take a 22 velocity or keep shooting on the same spot, that will actually penetrate a bulletproof vest. So I'm thinking eight. So put in the comments below how many you think what actually will go through. So here we go. All right, I have the bulletproof vest down there at about 25, 30 yards. I'm gonna see how many rounds of 22 long rifle, whoops, wrong gun. All right, much more better good. Got my Vakortsen 1022 SS loaded with some CCI Velocitors. How many will it take to go through it? Let's find out. All right, here we go. 22 LR Sniper. See if I hit the same spot. I got a soda behind it. So hopefully I'll see the soda bust open if when it goes through. These velocitors are pretty bad. They're, uh, what, 40 grains traveling at 1,435 feet per second. Here we go. Oh, the 10th shot. It actually took it 10 shots for a 40 grain bullet traveling at 1,435 feet per second to go through it and bust it. That's pretty remarkable. So if you're wearing a bulletproof vest level 3A and you're confronted with a 22 sniper, just think to yourself, you got nine shots in the same spot. But that's pretty cool. If you can see that group though, that's like almost a single hole, uh, 10 shots. So yeah, here's the soda that was behind it. So yeah, it actually fragmented a little bit and went through it, but you can tell only a piece of that, only a piece of that, uh, that bullet came out of there, but so yeah. It's 10 shots and finally on the 10th one, it went through, but see, it's, you know, it's almost the same hole. Those Vakorchins are so accurate, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I've always wondered how many it would take to go through a level 3A bulletproof vest, but now you know, 10 shots of Velocitors. Now, if I shot it with Stangers, 
probably go through the first shot. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep looking. Thank you.